can take a picture. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hey there, Net Best Buddies, welcome back to the channel. As always, I'm Ray, and today we're going to be looking at Wonder Woman. They gave out some pretty, uh, pretty sweet posters at the screening, and I took one of each. So Wonder Woman is the newest installment in the DC Extended Universe, which is their cinematic universe, and it's directed by Patty Jenkins. So how did she do? And does this movie rise above the very divisive predecessors that have come before it in the universe? So Diana is the prince of the Amazonians, a race of warrior women hidden from the rest of the world by Zeus. She has trained for years and honed her skills in case Ares, the god of war, should ever return and wreak havoc. When Steve Trevor, a British spy, lands on the island and is followed by German forces, Diana helps him return to England to help defeat the god of war, hopefully, and in the process, hopefully, end World War I. So Gal Gadot does an absolutely incredible job of portraying the Amazonian princess. In my mind, she's overcome all the criticisms that people have had from day one with her, where they thought she couldn't act very well, or that she couldn't perform physically for the role. She absolutely knocks it out of the park. Chris Pine plays Steve Trevor, the male lead and love interest to Diana. He's phenomenal as well. He's always really good. The two have really great chemistry together, and I'm really glad that one of my biggest fears for the movie didn't come true. And they made both Diana, a super powerful character, a really strong female lead, but they made the men in the film strong characters as well. Instead of making them weaker just to make Diana seem stronger. So again, great job, Patty Jenkins. I really like how complex the two leads in the film were, but I also really like how fleshed out they made all the other side characters. So back to Patty Jenkins, she directs the crap out of this movie and does such an incredible job of not only making a comic book film, but also making a movie that goes beyond that genre. She does an excellent job of using colors, and I know colors is not a term used in the DCEU all that much, but she uses them, and she uses them really well. She does a great job of differentiating the beauty that is Themyscira, this kind of untouched paradise, to the absolutely ravaged lands of war. I also think she did a really great job of implementing strong moral values and ideals into the movie for the audience. So Wonder Woman does have a few different origin stories, and I think they incorporated them both really well into the movie. Luckily, there is no invisible plane, which was super dumb. Always. They also do a great job of implementing humor and dramatic moments into the movie. I do feel the film slowed in pace a good amount for me when they arrive in England, up until the point where they go to the front lines of the war. It's not super boring by any means, but I was really just looking forward to her getting onto the battlefield like in the trailer, so I think that might have been my issue. The score overall is really good and serves the movie fantastically. In case you couldn't tell, that's like my favorite word to use. And I do really like Wonder Woman's theme song, and I think it's pretty unique and a great fit for her. The action's great, and there's a lot of slow motion, and I mean a lot of slow motion, but I think it works well in this movie because... It's used a lot during the battle on Themyscira, so we're getting to see how the Amazonians actually fight. And they are kind of not super sped up, but they have really great reflexes, so I think it's important to use slow motion to show their skills. There are some effects and visuals that don't look like they're at 100%, but overall I think the film's visually fantastic. Again, there's my word. So Wonder Woman's easily the best DC Extended Universe film. And you all know how much I love Superman and Man of Steel, so that's very difficult for me to say, but not really because it's true. And honestly, and you can call me fanboy or whatever, I don't care, I feel that Wonder Woman is better on the whole than many of the Marvel films, just as a general movie itself. Wonder Woman gets a 9 out of 10. Wonder Woman the movie honestly adds a lot to the DC Extended Universe as a whole, and I think adds a lot of layers to the character in Batman vs Superman, which makes it a more enjoyable film for me. And I already enjoyed the movie enough when I first saw it, and then I think the ultimate cut is far superior. It definitely gives us a better understanding of Diana from BVS, but I think it also strengthens the cinematic universe, clearly, because it needs to be strengthened. And I think that it does a really good setup for the Justice League for building hype and anticipation to see where her character goes. There she is. Let's kick it over to the Foxy to see how she thought the movie was. Did you like Wonder Woman?
My question for you guys in this video is, what is your favorite Wonder Woman story? It could be comics, it could be animated movies, it could be the Injustice video games or any other video games with her in it. Maybe even the Justice League cartoon. I just want to know what your favorite stories with her are. So if you're new to my videos and you've stayed till this point, I want to say thank you for watching. Give me a chance. Definitely go down and subscribe so you can stay up to date with all the videos that I put out. And to become an internet best buddy with me, we'll be internet best buddies. If you're a returning internet best buddy, thanks as always for coming back and watching my videos. Again, it means a lot that you've subscribed to me and continue to watch my stuff. If you like the review, definitely go down and like it and share it with some of your friends. Thanks again for watching, everybody. See ya.